Are you guys all ready to go? Yeah. Timer, are you ready to go? Five minutes, five, four, three, two, one, start! <laughs> Hey everyone, Joe Lance here. Today we're in San Angelo, Texas, outside Lone Star Cheeseburger Company. So I was actually at this contest last year. I was able to take first place. Here we're to try to defend our title. So this is a $1,000 burger eating contest, yes. So whoever can eat the most burgers in what I believe is five minutes is gonna get $1,000. Um, that's pretty much it, straightforward. Cheeseburgers, all rules go. Um, just eat as much as you can and time limit. That's about it. So let's tune on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, wish me luck. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Let's go eat some food. and. I'm ready. So, well, I better get ready, I should say. I gotta go pee first, but hopefully $1,000. If not, I don't know if there's any second or third place prize, but let's try to win and uh, get some cash. So, let's eat. Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna thank the sponsors of this video being Omaze. So Omaze gives away one-of-a-kind prizes and experiences while donating money to chosen charities from around the world. They have a sustainable approach to fundraising, which means nonprofits can spend less time raising money and more time serving the needs of their community. So right now you can enter for a chance to win a $4.3 million Los Angeles dream home. So you can score a modern farmhouse, designed five bedroom, six bath home, and you could literally become everybody's favorite party host. There's also a movie theater, a pool, a basketball court, and putting green. A lot of people want to live in LA their whole life, so now you can kind of live that fantasy, whether it be golfing, surfing, the vibrant nightlife. You also have an option to choose a multi-million dollar cash prize instead of a home. The main bedroom suite even has a fireplace, a walk-in closet, a soaking tub, and an oversized shower. Imagine what you could do in that house. The charity this is all in support of is Rebuilding Together. So Rebuilding Together is devoted to repairing the homes of veterans, those with disabilities, and neighbors with low income to help keep the communities and neighborhoods intact. They have long-term projects which include revitalizing entire neighborhoods and really bringing together local support groups, volunteers, and leaders for the bettering of all. In addition, Rebuilding Together also helps after natural disasters to help residents rebuild their homes and lives. So go to omaze.com forward slash Joel Hansen right now for your chance to enter to win a $4.3 million Los Angeles dream house. All while supporting Rebuilding Together. Like I said, click that link down below. Not only win your dream home, but support a great cause. Easy Ray from New Jersey. We got World coming in from Parts of yeah! Mason from San Angelo. Oh, from San Angelo. And the Brady defending undisputed cheeseburger eating champion of San Angelo. Oh, Are you guys all ready to go? Yeah. Timer, are you ready to go? Five minutes, five, four, three, two, one, start! Woo! 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 Go, baby. Come on, baby. Already have Go. 
That's how we go. That's what's on the line. They, they, they control our food to stand in. There we go, baby. The lady defending champion. Not annual. Can he do it again? We'll find out momentarily. Three more burgers, right? World is doing a big one. Let's go. Let's go. Let me just get to number two real quick. We're going to go with 
the world Woo! down here. Congratulations, second place. Certainly nothing to be left on the table. Any words for us today? These burgers are good, man. They sure are. <laughs> they have a drive to one or two in the That just means one thing. Is it over 18? That's the only question. And with a new universe record at Lone Star Cheeseburger on the corner of 33rd and West Bryant, you have Joel Hansen as a returning champion with 19 burgers. 19! that first that's all I came here for glad I was able to do it always great to be back here in San Angelo um, of course always have to stop on at the Lone Star Cheeseburger Company you can't come here without stopping by a beautiful truck and soon to be an even bigger location I hear I hear a rumor of it rumor of it world's biggest rumor of that so stay tuned for that hey well we'll have to see you back here next year as well two-time champion Say 19 burgers let's hear it for Joe Hansen Everybody, so here I had to try the best restaurant in town. I am at the Angry Cactus. So here I have their fantastic, famous smoked meatloaf. And then I have their famous chicken fried chicken with the country gravy on it. So we're just gonna give this a taste, but it looks really delicious. Thank you, Tom. This is, this is gonna be, I'm curious, I'm curious. I, I, love, uh, I love showing off my stuff. So we got a barbecue sauce on as well? Yeah, yeah, so I do mine barbecue. Do you, you make your sauce? Yeah, barbecue for sure, where it's wrapped in a corn husk and smoked. So it'll give you that smoky flavor, but it should have the right amount of like smoke, but moisture. A little smokiness of the barbecue, very good. And while I was in town, I wanted to stop on by the Angry Cactus to try one of the hottest locations, hottest restaurants in San Angelo. Um, and I will say they had some super delicious items. I got to try this meatloaf, which was fantastic. I never have had a smoked meatloaf before, but it brought in that like barbecue aspect, those southern smoky flavors that I love Texas for so much. Not to mention an incredibly rich, savory meatloaf with just the right amount of like heat. Though it had a little bit of heat to it to help balance all that out from like poblano peppers and all the other ingredients. Um, not to mention, you know, it was served with some really nice mashed potatoes, had some lovely vegetables. I'm all about that health. Um, but I will say I was thoroughly impressed with this meatloaf. I could eat way too many of these. And I will say, like, it's not often that I would say, hey, go to a restaurant and you have to try the meatloaf, but I would definitely try the meatloaf. They also had that nice little barbecue sauce on it and everything was just absolutely delicious. I then tried their chicken fried chicken, which is basically just their fried chicken. Um, they had a lovely country gravy on it. And then we had obviously the, uh, it was all chicken breasts, um, which were battered uh, to order, which was really cool. And uh, just kind of, you know, obviously deep fried, really nice um, crisp to it. If this makes sense, if you're familiar with like a chicken fried steak, you know what that batter is like. And so that was what this batter was like. It was like a chicken fried chicken, but a really nice like light um, batter, not like overly caked on, but still having a nice crisp, a nice crunch. Again, really nice savory additional um, aspect, um, really richness coming from that peppercorn white gravy on it. They also had some of their house-made hot sauces here, which were a lacto-fermented hot sauce, which I wanted to try out with the chicken which um, if you're kind of familiar with like 
So basically, they're fermented. They have flavors, uh, kind of like uh, like if you have like kombucha or something. It kind of has like a little bit of that fermented aspect to it. Um, but the chicken again was very delicious. It was very very um, juicy, incredibly juicy. They definitely know how to cook their fried chicken right here. Um, again, great flavors uh, with the addition of that hot sauce in the combination with that richness, that gravy. It was very uh, good pairing as well. And then also I had some of their, the vegetables with it and some more of those mashed potatoes, which were all really, really good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, super glad that I got to come out and try um, the Anchor Cactus here. It's a beautiful location. They have a uh, stunning um, kind of art throughout it. Uh, not to mention just a great atmosphere. So if you're in the area, definitely stop on by. I definitely can't wait to come on back. Got to try some more of that meatloaf and some of their other options they have on the menu. So that everyone, thanks for joining today's video. And uh, we might, and well, let's be honest. Of course I was going to get dessert. So let's get dessert here going too. I think it's whiskey right now. What's the shake? It is a granola, hemp seed, almond crab. We have their banana fosters. It looks delicious. It's over ice cream. Basically butter, sugar, liqueur, and bananas. The New Orleans classic. Woo! That is amazing. They got a lovely like little shake on that. Oh man. Caramelly. Vanilla, too damn good. Oh man. Too good. Completely fat and sugar free. And then here we have a giant piece of a New York style cheesecake with a prickly pear sauce on it, which I like. So let's give this a try. Look how big this is. That is absolutely giant. See if I can one hand this, one spoonful this. Cheesecake. Damn. Very nice and light. That is a fluffy New York cheesecake. Very delicious. Would recommend. Yeah, but like.